in this programming interview lecture series so we will today learn about trees so what we will see is how to insert elements in a binary tree so first of all just having a brief review of what is binary tree so let us see so we will learn about binary tree so as we know so the question is we want to insert elements into the binary tree so for that let's see so a binary tree is something like this we have some elements like 10 then we have its left child and right child so this can be 20 this can be 5 again this can have some child say 6 this can have a child say 2 this can have a right child 40 uh, left child that is 15 something like this and these have no children so it's null the left and right child are null so for these also it's all null so this is a binary tree so how to represent it first thing so we represent it using a structure that is which has self referential structures that we will see and if we look here in the code so we see this is the structure so we have struct node so we make a struct node here and then we have the first element is as we saw so a node has let's say a data and a left child and a right child so this is the structure node it has one element integer type say data and another pointer to another node which is the left child struct node star left and struct node star right which is the pointer to the right hand child so what we see now is that let's say we want to insert some data into the tree so how to construct a tree so we write a function called insert so let's see so we want to write a function called insert which insert which takes two argument one is the pointer to the root element and another is what element we want to insert so every tree so it can be represented by its root so what happens is let's say we have a tree a binary search tree so let's say it is 15 here then here a 10 here a 20 18 and 25 so if I want to insert into it let's say 30 so what happens is when I am inserting 30 into it so binary search tree has the property that the right child of every node is greater than the parent and left child is less than the parent so when I come here to the, so I can find this tree by the root so this is the pointer to the tree and using if I have this pointer I can go anywhere in the tree so because the 13 element 30 is greater than 15 so I have to insert in the right subtree of this one so I have to move somewhere here to the right hand child and see the data so it's 20 it's still less than 30 so now I choose the right child of this node 20 so this is 25 now I compare 30 with 25 still it is greater so it will come somewhere here and it will be added to the tree so let's now see the code so we have insert function and what happens is that because this is already a pointer and if I need to change the pointer so I need to pass a pointer to the pointer because I'm making change in this tree which is represented by a pointer root so I have to change that and I'm passing a double pointer here and I'm passing the key which I want to insert so now the first thing is if this root if it is null so what I do it means the root itself is null or where I need to insert is null then I create 
do dynamic memory allocation using malloc give it size of struct node and then i do node data is equal to key whatever key i wanted to insert and i have this node i have inserted 30 data is 30 its left child will be null its right child will be null and then i have inserted i will print i have inserted the data else what will happen if there was already some data here at the root and i compare the key that i have to insert with the data already available so if the data at the node is greater than the key so i have to go to the insert in the left subtree of the tree or otherwise if the node data is less than that of the key that we want to insert then we have to search where to place it in the right subtree of the node so this is the insert function that we learned so let's see now the code how it runs so let's see so this is the insert function and i have inserted so four elements so let's say i insert four elements here so first one is 10 so it will now become the root then what happens now i have to insert 20 so now the root is not null so it will check that if the node data is greater than 20 and we find that node data is not greater than 20 so i will go to the right hand child of this right subtree is now null so i will insert 20 here then again i insert 5 so 5 is now less than 10 so it will come somewhere here and then i insert 2 so 2 is less than 10 so it should come to the left part 2 is even less than 5 so 2 comes here so this is the tree that will be created and let's see the code so what i do is i try to debug this code i come here and let's see what happens so we have some the root now and the root so let's see so i come here now the root is null as you can see here and then what happens is I step into the function insert so now what happens is that I come to the node node is now a double pointer here and we see it it has some address basically the pointer is stored somewhere it has some address and now it is null so node is null so it moves inside a memory is allocated for it the node so what happens is the memory is allocated to it and we put the node data is now given value 10 node left is null and node right is null and I print that out I come out of the loop here and then again there is an insert function now so now what happens is our tree already already has inserted 10 so let's see again so we now move again inside this function so now let's see so now what the case is is that okay so now the thing is we already have inserted 10 and it is there so now when i have passed the pointer to the root so now root is not null so it will check if node is null so it is not so and now what we are inserting so it will check and compare the data and we were inserting 15 so it should go to the right so let's see so i do so node is not null it comes here so now we see the key is 20 that we want to insert and the node data so let's see node 0 so these are the two child so we are inserting so let's see so node data 
because it is 10 and 10 is not greater than 20 so it went in the other else part and we insert node right in the right subtree of node 10 and let's see so we entered there and the right subtree of that 10 was null so it goes there and we allocated some memory so now what happens is that I give the values to the left child, right child and null the node data is now the key element 20 and I come back so now my tree looks something like it looks like now it was 10 and 20 and my root is pointing to this one so now let's see so what happens so now again if we insert 5 so we move inside the function so now it goes up past the pointer to the root root is not null it has value 20 there so it moves out it moves to else if part where it checks the 10 if 10 is greater than what we are inserting 5 so yes it is greater so it moves inside and it goes to insert and now it inserts in the left subtree of the root so now again we go inside now left subtree was null left child is null so it creates a node there and it is done so finally we come to the last part which is 2 I have to insert 2 now and let's see how our tree looks like so there is a 10 there is a 20 here there is a 5 so now if I want to insert 2 so I pass the root in the insert function so 2 it compares root is not null so it checks if 2 is greater than 10 no so it goes into the left subtree it passes this pointer the left child pointer now again it is not null so 5 still is greater than so it goes to the left subtree of this one which is null so a new element is created here too so let's see if this is how the code also works so it goes here I enter inside the function if node is null so it is not null because it's a 10 there so it goes if node data is greater than key so yes it is it moves insert inside it goes there again now it comes to the node 5 so now again node 5 is not null so it again checks if 5 is greater than 2 it is and it moves to insert function here and now what happens is again it goes inside so insert and now we see that its left child of 5 is null and it moves inside it allocates the key left and right child are made null and this is done so it comes out of this and we look here so inserted node with data 10 inserted node with data 20 then 5 and then 2 so this finishes our lecture on insert method for